Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to adjust your trigger and what I mean by that is this particular 1911 when it's cocked you'll notice that there's some some slack right there you see that I'm going to show you how to take that slack up and uh, if you don't have an adjustable trigger like this one you can purchase others like this one right here from STI and these are the adjustments that I'm talking about there's some little bitty notches right there in the front of the trigger bow that you can use to adjust and basically what you're gonna do is we're gonna take the gun apart and right here I'm gonna bend these little tabs forward so they're gonna be bent away from the trigger bow and that's what that's gonna do is it's gonna push the trigger back a little bit more in the frame so that there's not gonna be that much that much movement so basically remember the bows are gonna be pushed forward those little tabs and they're gonna make the trigger sit a little deeper in the gun so hopefully once we're done our take up is going to be about like this see that hardly any trigger movement at all so first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to take the gun apart because we need to get that trigger out and this is going to have involved taking all the guts out so I'm going to take the slide set that off to the side this has the uh, series 80 components inside so if you haven't seen those before, it can be a little scary putting them together. But I'll show you how to do that in this video as well. So first thing we do is we knock out the punch in the back. Make sure your hammer is down when you do this. It relieves the tension in the spring of the mainspring housing back here. So we'll knock that out. Back up just a little bit on the camera. Okay, so now we can slide this out set that off to the side and then we'll take our safety out just kind of wiggle that kind of doing things out of order here could have started with something else but let's try to get that back see there we go there it comes all right so we'll take the grip safety off we'll take our leaf spring out this gun's a little dirty at the moment so we need to get this trigger bow out that's the back of the trigger bow right here so we have to take all these components out so I'm going to use my tweezers I'm going to push that pin out right there set that there that takes the, tr the hammer out it also relieves some of the series 80 stuff right here that we're seeing set that down another part of it usually I just dump this out but I've done it enough to where I know how it comes back or goes goes back together now we're gonna have to take that the grips off because of that pin right there is not wanting to come out so let me take those off now you'll notice this gun here the little grip screw came out with the grip panel these things right here are just screwed in to the frame. So if you're messing with an alloy frame, be careful not to over tighten your grip screws, but you can strip out these, uh, these screws in here. So just be aware, alloy frames, definitely be careful with these. So we'll test those grips aside. Now we can get to that pin right there. I'm gonna use my tweezers and push it out from the right. It starts to come out over here. I'll just pull it on out with my tweezers. And now the rest of the guts are going to come out. And I'm just going to pop them out of my hand. So here's the rest of our Series 80. And the disconnector and sear. So I'm going to set those off to the side because they're pretty nasty. Alright, so next is our trigger bow. It's not going to come out unless we take out the magazine release. So we'll need a real small screwdriver for that. We stick it in the side right here and while pushing eh, about a little bit not too awful much you don't push it all the way down but just a tiny bit then we turn counterclockwise you'll feel it so you need to push as much as you need to in order to turn it and it looks like I needed to push all the way for this one and once you pop you'll feel it pop so now 
it'll come out. And what you did was you took the tension off that spring. And if you look real close right here, there's a tiny little piece of metal, like a wing on this screw. So don't unscrew this right now without keeping some tension on it. So if you want, if your magazine release is really tough, here's a little side tip. You can take the spring right here, cut a coil off, or just get a, a reduced power spring for this and replace this. This will make it easier for you to press the button and actually drop the magazine. So to put it back together, stick it in like so, turn it, and lock it into place. So now this is all one unit right here. So that's, in competition, we, we switch these springs out to make it a little bit easier. So now that we have the magazine release out, the trigger bow will come right out the back. Where's my tweezers? There they are. So we'll pull this out. Now you notice on this trigger, it's a little different from the STI one that I pulled out earlier. Someone's already adjusted the wings a little bit on here so you can kind of see how they're bent out. And like I said, that's supposed to come forward and make the trigger sit deeper inside the gun because these are going to rest against the front of the frame. Where's my STI? There we go. So here's the STI. If you want it to fit a new new trigger, make sure it's a nice tight fit. Like so we'll, we'll drop the STI one in here just for kicks. Now this is a super tight fit right here. You hear how it just kind of ground into the gun? Now if I was fitting this trigger in the gun, you'd have to relieve some metal. And they did this on purpose. They've oversized the top and the bottom of this trigger so that there's no up and down movement. So when you're putting your finger on the trigger to shoot, there's the, the trigger's not wiggling up and down, up and down. So if your gun does, does that right now, and a lot of guns do that right from the factory, you may want to consider putting a new trigger in it. So if I was fitting this, I would make sure it was nice and flat, and I would just sand off a little bit of this. And over here too. Try not to round it off. Make sure it's nice and uh, parallel to the surface. Eventually, what you'll get is you'll get it to where it just drops right in, and then it's going to glide back and forth, back and forth in here. So we want to adjust our trigger bows. I'm not going to fit this one to this gun. I just wanted it as a uh, an example. So what we need to do is we need to bend those ears up just a tiny bit, not too much. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to try my little screwdriver here. See if I can get any leverage on that. It's coming slightly. There we go. So you notice the difference. So I'm going to try to match this side with this one over here. And if you overdo it, you can always bend it back. So that looks pretty equal. Maybe come up just a little higher on the first one again. All right, so now we'll drop that in the gun. And this one's fit real nice. Take our magazine release. We're gonna install that from the side that it came out. Push our magazine release from the other side. Put our screwdriver here. And while holding it partially out, we're gonna turn it clockwise. Find that groove, because that little pin has to, there it is finds itself. So there we are. Now I may have adjusted those ears a little too much just looking at how high the trigger bow sits back here. Um, we've moved the trigger further back to the back of the gun here. Uh, in the old days, like Clark's Custom, I ran across a 1911 the other day of a Colt Gold Cup that was done by Clark Custom. They didn't have all these cool aftermarket parts like that STI trigger I showed you. So for an adjustment like this, instead of bending ears over here, he would actually take a piece of metal about the same thickness of the trigger back here, the trigger bow, and he would weld it onto here and then polish it, grind it, make it fit just perfect. So he would add thickness to the backside and that would give you the uh, take up that we're trying to get right here, that lack of take up. We're trying to remove some of that take up. So that, that's pretty cool. I'll throw some pictures in here and I'll, I'll put a bunch of more pictures on my blog if you want to check that out. It's uh, nicktaylor00blogspot.com. 
but it's it's a very interesting gun when when gunsmithing was done with uh, not so aftermarket parts. 